what's up, man? Hey, is this uh, is this Peanut? Yeah, hey, what's up? Who this? Uh, this is Slick Rick. I just got your number from Mr. K. Uh, I was reaching out because I had received uh, email the DOJ that I think you and Zolo were requesting a bench trial. When I got there, it sounded like the officers, uh, I don't know, the officers told me that it wasn't happening anymore. But uh, look, I just wanted to reach out and say, you know, if you need help with anything, um, happy to help. I am a new lawyer in the DOJ, but uh, I used to be a lawyer in Liberty City. So uh, mm. if I can help out with anything, you know, feel free to reach out anytime. Well, listen, so I'll be honest with you. I'm trying to do uh -huh. a class, not a class action, my bad, a civil suit against okay. uh, Denzel. Now, I, I had a different lawyer in mind. But, uh, okay. Hold on, give me one sec. You said keep... 30, yeah, no problem. 30, hold on. Wait, what? How much do I owe him? I owe him... Ah, my bad. Sorry about that, dude. Yeah. All right, so like I was saying, I'm doing a a civil suit against an officer that fucked me over. Okay. Now, I had a... I had a different... What's it called? Lawyer in mind? But I, I would still love to hear your advice. Okay, yeah, no, that sounds good to me. Who, uh, who, who are you thinking? So I'm trying to sue, uh, I'm trying to do, sue Denzel Shiesty for excessive force. Okay, well, that sounds, yeah, that, that sounds pretty typical. Um, you, do you want to talk on, about what? Wait, did you say typical? Well, yeah, I mean, it sounds like oh, he's pretty, nah. you know, oh, he's nah. definitely oh. known for that. Oh, he, oh, for real? But yeah, I mean, well, from what I've heard, he's a little trigger happy, so, uh, yeah, I mean, he. look, I think last I heard, he's pretty close to uh, getting fired because he's been in so much shit. Um, do you do you want to talk about the details of the case at all? or? Yeah, I mean, look, listen, I don't want to waste your time. But, no, no, you know. listen, at the end of the day, you can have more than one lawyer, right? Maybe, I mean, if you... Oh, yeah, absolutely. I bet. You want to meet up somewhere? Yeah, no, it sounds good to me. I can, uh, I'm at the courthouse right now, but I can meet up wherever you need me, really. No, it's fine. I'll, I'll meet you at the courthouse and, like, how much time you got? Because I, I might be there in like 10 minutes or something. Yeah, that works for me. All right, dude. All right, bet. All right, let All right, talk to you soon. All right, bet, dude. Yo, is this, uh, this Rick? Yeah, hey, what's up? You, uh, so you what's going it? on, Rick? Yeah, yeah, this yeah, is me, that, man. You want to go somewhere more okay. private? Yeah, I actually, if you want to go up to, we can go up to the head of bar office if you yeah, want. Let's go like, to the head of the like, bar. Really private, okay. Don't want any uh, wandering ears. Look at Arya, she's doing everything from scratch. Yeah, but why would you do everything from so, scratch uh, when you got gang members that can help soon, you? Huh? With rep. What is the point of sitting there doing it for 200 hours from scratch? Yup. Fucking civil suit, man. Trying to get some money out to do get my fan back or something. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, it sounds like... Look, when I got to MRPD, I think it was Duncan told me that uh, bench trial wasn't. Like I would do it for tugs if you needed. I'm it. hoping you guys, you know, still pled not guilty and didn't didn't plead guilty to the criminal charges, or. No, I didn't plead guilty. To, I didn't plead guilty to nothing. Okay, perfect. That's okay. That's good. Um. Okay, let me open this up. He's in here. Okay. Cool. What's uh? So so what's going on? Uh, you want to sit down real quick? The couch. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, let's sit on the couch. It's gonna be weird if we're like sitting close or whatever. I, I don't know. Hell yeah, I'm about to shoot a movie. Oh shit! Okay, casting couch. Oh, we can sit on opposite sides, man. Don't worry. Yeah. No. Okay. No. It's all right. <laughs> So, uh, what's going right, on? So listen, what? I'll run you from the top. I, I, okay. I'll, I'll try my best not to leave any detail out. But I'll that be honest good. with you, right now, I don't have a lawyer. I was a, uh, I had a lawyer in mind, a different lawyer, but I don't, I don't really see his ass. So honestly, dude, I mean, if you think you got what it takes and you really think we can win the, win this shit, I mean, you could be my lawyer. I'll pay you whatever, you know, whatever we got to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look, I mean, here's the thing. So for DOJ rules, right? You can have up to two lawyers. I. Look, I, uh, I've helped Mr. K a little bit lately. I know you guys have Robin. Uh, I don't know if you guys have anyone else, but I'd be more than willing to, you know, work with them on this too. Uh, you know, two brains better than one, but look, I'm, I'm happy to help ever I can. All right, but so listen, I'll start you from the top. Okay. Okay. So okay. I was at senior buns. My boy Zolo was parked outside. So one of my friends named Zolo, he had a black gauntlet parked outside. 
Okay. 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 Uh, the gauntlet was like a, a little bit legally parked. I think the the wheel was like on the red fucking line, like barely, like barely. It's on some stupid shit. But then Denzel Shiesty pulled up and was like, "Yo, who owns this car? Is this shit's getting towed and searched?" So he starts towing the car and, and he searches it for marijuana. Okay. And then after he searches the car, he tries to arrest my boy because the car had marijuana in it. All right. So then when he tries to arrest my boy, my boy said, fuck all that shit. And he drove away and led the cops in a chase. Okay. Okay. So then he called me asking for help. But then I got in my car, my red gauntlet, and I went up to the chase and I was kind of following them. You know what I'm saying? To see if I could do any right. type of help. So right. I was following. I didn't pit nobody or nothing. I didn't hit nobody. I was just following. And then the cops gave me a warning that was like, yo, don't get involved. Get out of here. So I listened. I got out of there. Okay, I left. So then I went to the white garage. I don't know. Do you know where the white garage is? Is the one by Senior Bunts? Like the, the yeah, it's the, yeah, the one that's like yeah, right next to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So then I went to the white garage and I was basically gonna do like a block for my boy. Okay. Okay. So then okay. my boy drives to the white garage. He makes a right turn, drives to the white garage. Okay. Then Denzel's right after him. So then I pull out. Going like five miles per hour. I pull out going five. I'm not even exaggerating. I pull out going yeah. five. Okay. okay. I hit the side of his car. He was going like 50. You know, which uh, ain't really that fast if you think about it. He was going like 50 right. or 60, which is, you know, because normally cops, they try to pit like, you know, high speed set them is like 100. Like if you if you pit at 100, 120, hit a cop going 120, they'll shoot you. Right. So I pit him going 50. No, I didn't pit him, my bad. I pulled out five, hit him on the side. You were just leaving the, you you know, you got some food and you were just leaving the parking garage. And, you know, how are you supposed to know they were going to come screaming in there at that, you know, at that time? Yeah, see, here's the thing. I wanted to use that defense, but the problem is that they saw me in the chase earlier. See what I'm saying? Yeah, but you broke off like they said. You know, they asked you to break off and you, and you did. And you, you know, I mean, went about your, true. you know, you're not, yeah. You're, and, not, you're not wrong, dude. You're not wrong. Yeah, I did break yeah. off. Yeah. I did. Exactly. I, you're right. You're right. I did. Drive. Yeah. Yeah. You know. left and then, you know, you were hungry. You went to get food and then you got back in your car and look, it was just bad. Pl- you know, wrong place, wrong time. And uh, so, so what happened from there? You, that happened. And then but then that happened. Okay. So then he gets mad that, uh, he gets mad that I pulled out five and hit him. But then he hops out his car and says, okay, you going to die. Whips out his pistol and shoots me in the back of the head while I'm trying to drive off. Okay, that's fucking crazy. Okay. Now, okay. here's the thing. Here's the thing. What they're trying to use to justify that, okay, was that he was... So, Denzel, he was with a passenger, right? Okay, yeah. So, apparently, apparently, obviously, we, we found this after. They're trying to... They, they bullshit him, but they're trying to... They're trying to justify that the passenger, apparently, the which it could be a lie. Apparently, the passenger flew out the car when I hit... When I touched him from the side. Apparently, okay. the passenger flew out, but my defense that I used in that was that Denzel and his car has a, what is the thing called? A harness. Oh, a harness, yeah. A yeah, harness, yeah. which only the driver can use. Meaning that anybody else that drives in the car with him has no seatbelt. Which sounds like a, which sounds like a, like a PD issue, you know? Which sounds like a PD issue. They shouldn't be using yeah. harnesses. They should be, if you a cop, you should be secured in your car because you know that people try to pitch you and do shit. And yeah, like, exactly. Do exactly, yeah. So that was my defense. I was like, bruh. First of all, I didn't even see him fly out, but even if he did, which is probably bullshit, I mean, Denzel has a harness. The dude had no seatbelt. Yeah. That's, I mean, yeah. Like, the guy's a fucking idiot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, so there's, fuck, there's multiple layers to this. So I think first and foremost, uh, for your friend Zolo. So this all stemmed from, damn, this yes, all the, stemmed the from the illegal telling. Yep. Okay. Yep. Here's the thing. Like, the case law that we observe in this city uh, says that officers can't search unless they have probable cause. Um, for a traffic violation like this, look, they can give a citation, but it doesn't rise in my my mind and based on case law to the level of probable cause where, you know, an officer suspects that there's like something on, in the uh, car. Hold on, yeah, hold on, hold on. Let me t- it's from my gang leader. If I don't answer, he's going to kill me, all right? No, you're good. Hey, what pop? What do they do? What you saying? What word is? What you doing? Maybe you trying to be a fucking uh, little moonshine master? Well, I was trying to. I mean, I'm, I'm be honest with you, K. I got negative twenty two thousand dollars. Like, I'll nah, be losing nah, money every nah. day. I don't know how to make nah, money. Nah, fuck so. that, dude. Fuck that, dude. 
What you mean, let's dude? Go, let's go kill shits together, man. I'm done. I'm just. Uh, I'm talking to the lawyer right now. You you gonna do that after I'm done? Oh, with the this dude, guy? the dude I told to call you. Yeah, the the what's his name? Fucking uh, what's your name, sir? Uh, Slick Rick. Slick, Slick Rick. Rick. Yeah, I'm speaking to Slick Rick right now. You want to come or uh, we? I mean, we could just link up after if you want. Me, you, and a loaded fucking gun. Listen, <laughs> I got a bunch of Glocks. Um, uh, I got guns. No, I got one. I just need ammo. Yo, sir, this I is have, a. I have I have M19s with ammo, but they 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 uh yeah. Hold on there, dude. Hold on there, dude. They a little Terrorism? smoky, man. They Terrorism? a little smoky. They, they, they a little smoky. Listen, do we have 9x21 ammo? Because we got 9x20. I got a gun with clips. Yo, sir, we are. Actually, hold on. Flick Rick, we, got, we protected by a lawyer thing, right? I think we might. Yep, attorney client privilege. Yeah, because if we do, I have a gun with clips. Also, the door disappeared. I just gave you a dollar, by the way, Slick Rick, so you can't snitch on me. Yep, nope. Plus, I wouldn't want to get killed anyway, you know? You my lawyer now. Remember that. Yeah, sounds good to me. I think I do actually have that ammo somewhere. Okay, bet. I'm going to just wrap up this shit with Slick Rick, set this up, and uh, I'm down, all right? I'll, I'll give you a all call right. back. All right, dude. Yeah. All right, let him. All right, yeah, Slick. So, like I was saying, wait, so are you saying it's illegal to search a car if you towing it? So here's the thing, right? Like, we observe a handful of cases in this city. One in particular is Carroll versus U.S. I won't, you know, yap your ear off, but basically it says that police can search a car without a warrant if they have probable cause to believe it contains evidence of a crime. There's no way for him to have known that it, there was There's... weed in the car, oh and there is no probable cause to search the car just because it's getting towed. Uh, so for, uh... your, for your friend there... It's all fruit of the poisonous tree after that. Uh, yeah, so the I whole, think, oh my God, you right. I yeah. mean, if you is right, then, then yeah, because I mean, I was involved with the chase. They saw me at the chase and it all start, It all stems from the, from that. From a, yeah, I mean, so that, I mean, for your friend, right? Everything after that should be thrown out. Um, the, the weed should be thrown, like everything, right? Um, everything should be thrown out. Yeah, I like... In in your case, um, I think he did if plead you not go guilty. with, he did plead not guilty. you know, one you weren't you pretty, weren't pretty trying sure. to get involved to begin with. You just happened to be in the area, and then you know you obeyed a lawful command. You went about your separate way. You ended up in the parking garage because you were getting food, and what you just happened to be pulling out at the time that they were pulling in, and you know, uh, what like how are you going to get in trouble for that? You know, and. Uh, Sounds, I mean, I don't know if you know this. Do, do, you, do they even have body cam or dash cam footage of any of that? No, I asked if they had dash cam. But the problem is that dash cam is only live. Like, it, okay. it's not a recording, so not, they don't have it. But I got, got it. listen. Okay. So I got, um, I got testimonies. So I can get people up there. I got the, the EMS. So I, made, I told the EMS to make a report of me, like, getting shot in the head or whatever. So I got right, I could get right. an EMS report. There was no doctors okay. on duty, so I couldn't get that. Yeah, so uh, there's 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 two things, right? Like one, I think we can appeal your criminal charges because it doesn't make any sense at all. To ch I mean, d do you remember what they charged you with? They charged me with possession of the gun. They char charged me with felony obstruction. They okay. charged me with a uh, two counts of assault with a deadly weapon for the hot for because I had a hot gun. And right. they also charged me with assault with a deadly weapon for pulling out at five miles per hour. Okay. Uh, okay. I mean, shit, you even might have a fruit of the poisonous tree argument there. Um, potentially. Um, I'd have to look at the report and think about that one a bit further. Um, because there was no probable cause, you could argue, for them to... I, like you weren't committing a crime, you were just pulling out of a parking space. But the biggest thing here, independent of the criminal charges, is that we have another case law, Tennessee versus Garner, which is the fleeing felon case law, which basically says that police can't use deadly force unless you know there's a suspect that poses like a significant threat of death or bodily harm. If 
you're in your car and they are in their cars, I, like I fail to see how you pose any threat to them in a fucking car, you know, uh, they, they can't just resort to shooting you. That's, that's deadly force is supposed to be last resort. Uh, there were, there have been a handful of cases where this has happened. I think the last one I remember is, uh, little tugs who I think ran from officers and they just shot him when he posed no threat. Uh, and I think he won like, I don't know if I remember exactly, but like 50,000 from that. Oh, hold on. Matter of fact, this is the, this is my boy. He should probably be down here for this, right? Yeah. Hold yeah. On. I mean, absolutely. Yo, so, so, did you plead, you plead, Yo. you plead not guilty when I told you, right? You, you didn't plead guilty? I plead not guilty. Oh my God. Thank the Lord. You pleaded not guilty, right? For everything? Yeah. Oh, thank everything, the Lord. bro. Cause it, it I, wouldn't make sense if you plead not guilty and I don't, and then they're going to be like, well, why did yeah, 100%. you plead guilty? I will listen. I got us a, I got a slower and he's saying that apparently so like the, they shouldn't even search your car when they tone it. They have to yeah, have probable know. cause. Yeah, exactly. So we could. She couldn't read argue. the law. She couldn't state the law at all. Yeah, exactly. So we could probably argue fruit of uh, the poisonous streets for the whole thing. That's like, what I said. Whole... Fruit for the poisonous yeah, streets. Yeah, you did say that. You did say that. So we can literally, bro. We can win this 100. percent Where were you at? I'm at a prison a lot picking a car. What's going on? Oh, they took everything from me, man. Bro, I but told the light first good. that we. We can kidnap Dan and throw him uh, out of helicopter. They said they'll take care of it. Oh, bro, I'm scuffing up right now. All right, well, listen, let's, fit, let's focus on that a different day. We got a, I'm talking to the lawyer right now. We're trying to set this up. And uh, what's it called? Uh, Ken wants to do some shit after. I do. I'm in debt, man. I'm 46K in debt, man. Yep, I'm 22,000 in debt. We both in debt, bro. I'm tired of this shit, Peanut, man. I'm fucking I'm sure. tired of listen, this shit, come man. To the, come, to the, come to the courthouse real quick, man. All right. I bet, dude. I let him. But yeah, I mean, listen, man. If we could, uh, I mean, we could, we could argue multiple like fruit or the poison the street. We could argue the one for the park. Yeah, which started everything. We could argue that I was coming out. You know, I broke off when they told me to, and I was just getting senior buns, and I happened to just pull out at the same time. Which I mean, I feel like that one could work, but it's like, like you know, it's a little like haymaker, low key. I mean, you listen. Yeah, to the like if you think of, if you think otherwise, then I mean, whatever you think, I'll go. You know, I'm so you're the professional, right? Yeah, I mean, I definitely would need to dig into it and then look at the police reports. I think, like, the thing is, right, they're going to say that, you know, you, like, you accidentally hit the car, right, is what we'd go with. And they'd be like, okay, well, then why did you drive away? Regardless, it doesn't give them the right to I mean, shoot you. I could argue, no, no, I have an know? argument. I could argue that the reason I drove away is because as soon as I hit him, he literally hopped out the car and said, you about to die. Oh, so shit, was, you're right. You're I right. You fear for your life. Now, this is the argument. The argument is that the reason he shot is because the... Pa this is what, I'm telling you right now what they're going to say. They're going to say that right. the reason they shot is because the passenger flew out the car. That's what they're going to say. Right. So, like, even if we was both going slow speeds, the passenger flew out, therefore they shot. Yeah, so, I mean, this is the thing. Like, there's no, like... If they're trying to say that you did this intentionally to harm another officer, potentially like, you know, cause serious bodily harm or even kill them, again, what the narrative we're going with is you were just getting food and you just pulled out of your parking spot. Like, how could you have known that that was going to happen? That wasn't your intent. So, you know, there's no reason for them to have escalated force the way that they did and shoot you. I'm, I'm, you know where they shot you? Yeah, I don't think it, it was inside a white garage, yeah. Inside. But, like, uh, do they, like, body-wise, do they just... Oh, they shot me in the back of the head. Oh, shit, okay. Um, yeah, no, I think... Look, I, I yeah, I think that's, I, I think that's definitely... Uh... But there's only, there's another, there's another problem. Well, only another problem. Okay. Me and the dude that got my boy, that was getting chased, we was on the same radios. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not illegal to own radios. A lot of people in the city have them. Uh, it's a good way to, you know, just talk to people. Uh, I, I don't think that would be an issue. All right. All right, well, if you don't think it's an issue, then, you know, listen, like I said, even if we don't win, it is what it is, but I still want to try this shit for sure. I want to get some money out to do it. I want to get my fan back. We don't win. It is what it is. We could we could try multiple arguments. We could try the one that you said where I broke off, want to see the buns to get some food. Put out by mistake, or we could and we could also argue fruit of the poison the tree for the for the parking thing. Like, yeah, he should have yeah. never searched the car, and if had he never illegally searched the car, and because he so he searched the car, found the joints, and because he found the joints and the car was in Zolo's name, he was going to try to arrest him. 
arrested you know, for that. So yeah, had he no, not I illegally searched that. that car, he wouldn't have tried to arrest him, and Zola wouldn't have hopped in the car and dipped out. Yeah, I agree. Hold on, I think he's here. So okay. is you here? Where are you? Yeah. Can you uh can you open up so you can come? Yeah, yeah, yeah no problem, no problem. Where second floor? Yo, we at the head of the bar, second floor. Just come up the stairs. I don't know, let's just wait I mean, for him right. Third here. floor. Yeah, sounds good. No, the, I mean, the first floor. Oh the first floor that yeah, my bad, whatever the fuck. Oh you just came hey, out of prison though. How you doing? How you doing, man? Uh, doing okay. I think you guys will be feeling a little bit better after we talk about this, hopefully. Let me uh sorry, let me lock this so we have some privacy. On. Let me, uh... Hey, this is Slick Rick. Can I, uh... Can you do a call? Hmm. I think we got a chance, chat, but I'll be honest. I don't think we'll win, but I think we do got I think we got a slight chance. I think there's a chance. I think there's a chance we could win, chat, but... If, I mean, if he's right about Fruit of the Poisonous Tree, like, we'll completely win, no? Like, technically, if, if him searching the car is illegal, um, it should be an automatic so... win, no? But you never I might have know. to make this like semi quick because I have to do a cell rep. But basically, what I was talking. Oh well, first of all, hey, how's it going? Name's Slick going? Rick. Uh, this is all under attorney-client privilege. Um, anything you tell me, you know, I, I won't use it. You know, say or whatever. Also, look, I don't want you guys to kill me either. You know, I. Oh, you good, man? You good? You you good, Slick? You got a good. Look, I know about man. Mr. K. You know, and uh, look at it. You know, between us, right? Um, I've helped Mr. K out a little bit. I helped him finesse some money off of Karma not too long ago, and yeah, you know, I uh, you can definitely trust me. Um, so here's the thing, right? I found out some of the details about your case, and I was talking to Peanut here. I think it's a first of all good thing that you both pled not guilty. Um, I think, especially for you, Zolo, you have a pretty good fruit of the poisonous tree argument. Yeah. Um, where they, you know, tried towing your car. There's case law that explicitly says that an officer has to have probable cause to search your car. Um, they ha basically have to know, that, or like, yeah, it depends on the know, judge. Able to you articulate Louis, for that, sure. that your car would, I don't know, um, I guess, contain something illegal. It doesn't extend to them just like searching it because you're getting towed. Um, so I think for you, that's fruit of the poisonous tree. We could make that argument, you know, that this none of this should have happened in the first place because it all stems from an illegal search. Um, and then kind of later down the line, right, comes the issue of the garage where, you know, they ended up shooting Peanut here. And uh, there's also case law that says that they basically can't do that. Uh, given the circumstances, you know, he was just getting some food over at Senior Buns and was just pulling out of a parking stall. and you know, wrong place, wrong time, and happened to, you know, bump into an officer who was going at, you know, a high speed through a garage and uh, was also negligent and not having the proper restraints in, in their car for their passenger and uh, didn't give them grounds to shoot you in the back of the head. So I think... Maybe in real life, Cam, you know, but there's a he, he's talking about case laws. here for both of your criminal appeals and for a, you know, civil lawsuit as well. Right, sounds good. Sounds but really uh, good. yeah, I mean, like, do you guys have any questions or anything that? I mean, I mean, listen, what, how, how much? Listen, whatever you uh, what's it called? Whatever you you charge, you know, just let me know. But uh, I mean, yeah, if you could set this up, do you need? I mean, what do you need from us? IDs? You need names? What do, what do you need? From uh, us? so a couple things. If I'm just gonna be candid with you, I had this chat with Mr. K the other day. I uh. Look, I know you guys have a couple of lawyers already, but uh, look, I, I want to be want to be one of your guys' lawyers, just point blank, okay? And so, that to me is uh, showing you guys that I'm, you know, worthy of your time, and and you know, uh, that's that's the only payment I need really. And uh, as far as what I need from you, I can text both of you, um, and I would just need your. Two things here. Either one, we could go to MRPD together four days from now so we can FOIA the reports and I can get going on the the uh, the cases. Um, or you can just shoot me a text. I can send you sort of like the, the language for that, which is like the consent. Basically saying that you authorize me to, you know, go there by myself and 
get the reports so I don't yeah, waste so, your time. Yeah, we could do that. We could send it. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a text right now. Cool. And then I'll gather that. And then if you guys have another lawyer that you have in mind, I'll just share the reports with them too. And uh, yeah, we'll get it on the docket. As I'm sure you know, or maybe you don't know, that the docket does take a little bit of time. But now we know. Think, dude, we know how this shit is, man. We know how this shit is. Yeah, it 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 takes a lot longer than it should, but I think it will pay off, especially with the civil suit. So, uh, yeah, I, I think we definitely have something here. I bet. Just uh, whatever you need, you got my number. Yeah. I give you a text. Just uh, send that form, like I said. And listen, you know, obviously, I don't want you to waste your time. Obviously, I want to give you some type of payment. So, if we win the case and I get money out of it, and I get my fine back, you know, I'll give you a percentage. And if okay. we lose, I'll still give you money, which is not as yeah. much. No, I yeah. Look, I mean, my thing is too is I don't. Yeah, I, like I'm willing to work up with you. We don't have to talk specific numbers right now. We can just see like what works best when the time comes. Uh, yeah, no, that that sounds good to me. Uh, I bet, dude. Whatever what's you got to do to get it done. Um, your number on Limitless? Yeah, it's uh, if you just type in Slick Rick, you should uh, that should pop up for you. Also, too, by the way, Slick, the dude that flew out the passenger, I was also arguing that you know there was no medical report, there was no injuries. You know, so yeah, they also well, don't have any proof that he yeah, got injured know, or whatever. Yeah. See, this is the good thing is, you know, a lot of these cops are dumbasses. And so, like, they, you know, there's probably going to be a lot of things missing from the report that will probably work in your favor. I, I think, bet, I think, I mean, look, it's 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 already done with, so it's not a big deal. But I think in that situation, did, did you guys try to do bench trial and there just wasn't, like, a judge available? Or what, yeah, what we, happened with that? Yeah, we tried to do bench trial, no judge. Okay, fuck. There's never the, any judges around. The, yeah, the judge was supposed to come, and then the judge didn't want to come. Of course. Uh, yeah, they. I mean, they don't come unless there's like something guaranteed for them. Uh, because I was gonna say bench trial would have been nice because you kind of catch PD off their feet. They don't have everything submitted, and you could, you know, get off there pretty easily. But look, no it judge. gives us more time to prepare <laughs> and uh, yeah, and figure this all out. So I think again, I think you both have a pretty solid case. There's been a lot of documented issues with this offer officer in particular. So, um, yeah, hopefully, you know, it'll all work out. I will say, as I'm sure you also know, the judges in this city are uh, pretty much, you know, PD bootlicker, bootlickers. So, you know, it's it's. No, hundred percent. Yeah, I, I know. We, we know how it is, man. You know what I'm saying. So if we get a if we get a fucking PD judge and we lose, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying. But yeah. it's better to fight this shit than just to sit there and get fucked in the ass. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing too, right? Like, if if it comes down to something like that, I will appeal for you. I will do whatever I can. If if I need to submit a complaint, uh, like a bar review complaint because a job isn't or a judge isn't doing their job right, whatever I have to do to make sure. You know, I've done all I can to help you guys out. I'll, I'll do that. I won't just, you know, let this slide and, and be like every other, not every lawyer, but a lot of lawyers in this city that just kind of throw their hands up and give up. So, 100%, man. I appreciate that for real. But uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. But whatever you need from us, just uh, hit us up. All right. You get this cool. Shit perfect. Yeah, no, sounds good. Uh, like I said, it, it takes four days for FOIAs to, for us to be able to FOIA. So, four days, I'll get the reports and I'll, and I'll start get, uh, working on that. I bet. I think so cool. much, Slick Rick. Yeah, absolutely. No problem. Appreciate you, man. Like I said, if you guys have another lawyer too, I'm happy to talk to them. I don't know if we do, but if we if we do get another one, I'll let you know. All right? Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Perfect.